Hey folks, uh, this is Barney Fife, and this uh, pre-calculus lesson is on vectors in three-dimensional space. I think this one's pretty easy compared to what we've gone through so far. So, so imagine uh, three real number lines intersecting at zero, uh, at their zero point, so that each line is perpendicular to the plane made by the other two lines. I know what you're thinking. What? Okay, just think of, for, for example, back in two-dimensional space, we had an X, Y plane. Remember that right there? Well, this is just adding a third variable, you guys. So, um, And they switch the X's to make it come out like that. So uh, just kind of X is kind of shifted. It's coming out like this. I, I had an old book that they had. This was the X, and this was the Y, and then this would have been the Z. But your textbook's doing this, you guys. This is my X coordinate. So this is the positive X. This is the negative X. This is the positive y, this is the negative y, and then finally the positive z and the, and the negative z, okay? It could go any direction, and it's just, this is how your book's doing it right here, okay? So uh, each point corresponds to an ordered triple, like we always had an ordered pair. This is an ordered triple of real numbers. So to locate the point with the coordinates x1, y1, z1, first find your x1 on the x-axis, so... So say it was like 2, you'd come out here 2 on the x-axis. And then find your y1 on the y-axis. So say that was like uh, negative 3. So that means I'd go to the left 3. Okay, and then your z on the z-axis, say it was like up here at 5. It would be up here at a point right there. All right, and then, uh, then imagine uh, uh, a plane that's perpendicular to the x-axis at that x uh, value, perpendicular to the y-axis and the um, uh, z-axis at the x or at the y and z uh, values respectively. So the three planes would intersect at point P. So for example, right here, if this is my x1, y1, z1 right here, can you see this plane on top intersecting and then this plane in the front intersecting, okay, and then this plane on the side intersecting? They're all intersecting at this point right there. Okay, you don't have to get too carried away. There's one little piece on your homework that you have to learn how to graph those, and it's just a little bit. And that's not that bad, you guys. That's that's pretty easy, okay? So uh, locate the point negative 4, 3, 2. All right, so negative 4, 3, 2. That means I'm going to go backwards 4, and then I'm going to go to the right 3, and then I'm going to go up 2, okay? So when I do that... Uh, I go um, uh, backwards 4, and then to the right 3, and up 2. And then I'm going to uh, draw broken lines to form parallelograms. So this is the kind of hard part, you guys. So imagine um, uh, you got this parallelogram in front. That's pretty easy to see. And then you got a parallelogram that kind of goes like this. And then it goes down here, and it goes right here. And then you got the other one that's over here. So, okay, remember this little uh, parallelogram up front, this one's going to have a point that's going to go back, and it's going to go down and right there. And then you got your little backwards one in the back right there. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. So um, uh, you go back four, uh, you go to the right three, and then up two. Okay, and so here's this one, the parallelogram right there. You got the one in the back right there, and then this one right here. I always like to draw this front one, too. I don't know why. Just to make it look like a nice little box. Okay, so all three of those planes, you guys, intersect back there. It's kind of hard to show on a two-dimensional surface like this, you guys, uh, three-dimensional pieces like this. But Okay, so ordered triple, triples uh, can also be represented as vectors. So just like we did ordered pairs as vectors, we can do ordered triples as vectors. So a directed uh, line segment from the origin to the point P, which is x1, y1, z1, is called vector OP. And it, score, and it corresponds to the vector x, y, z, okay, the ordered triple x, y, z. So the vector of an ordered triple is just like an ordered pair, you guys. So suppose we had uh, points, uh, here's point 1, x1, y1, z1, and point 2, x2, y2, z2 as the terminal point, and this is the initial point right here. Okay, just like um, the ordered pair, the ordered triplet of um, the vector p1, p2 is... We just uh, subtract the x's, subtract the y's, and subtract the z's. So x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And it's always, you got to do the second one minus the first one. And then the second y minus the first y, and similarly for the z's. Okay? And the magnitude, you guys, is just like uh, the magnitude for the ordered um, uh, 
or the ordered pair. Sorry, you guys, brain freeze right there. So um, you take the difference of the x squared plus the difference of the y squared plus the difference of the z squared and square root all that mess, and that's your magnitude. It's just the length of that, you guys. Magnitude just means length. So so here, write the ordered triple that represents the vector from a to b. Okay, so uh, my vector a b is I just um, uh, I subtract uh, the, this y or this x minus this x. And then this y minus this y, and then this z minus this z right here. That's what that says right there. Clean it all up, and you get uh, uh, the vector becomes uh, the order triple five six eight. Okay, easy, huh? Okay, so here let's try an application problem. A water snake uh, swims around small rocks and brush along a riverbank. Suppose that the snake's head swims through the points uh, zero two five and four zero three, in which each unit represents a meter. So what is the magnitude? So that we're going to use the, dis the distance uh, uh, thing of the displacement of the snake's experience in traveling between these two points, okay? So they just could have asked you, what's the magnitude between these two points? All right, so here's my magnitude formula. So it's just like the Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to subtract the x's, the y's, the z's, square them, add them together. Okay, so there you go. And I get about 4.9 meters at the very end right there. Okay, easy enough, isn't it? Okay, so find an order triple that represents 4... Uh, times the vector v plus the vector u if uh, the vector v is this order triple and vector u is this order triple. Okay, it's just like an ordered pair. I'm going to multiply this one times 4 and then whatever that result is, I'm going to add that one right there. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to multiply those together and I get uh, that order triple. I told you this is easy. It's so easy it's kind of embarrassing, right? You're thinking, yes, nice easy homework assignment. Okay, so write um, uh, the vector gh as the sum of unit vectors for those two points right there. Okay, so as the sum of units vectors, that just means we're going to first express, whoops, uh, gh, that should be a, a ray right there. Let me insert that right there. You can see my little secrets how I'm doing all of that. So uh, there's my vector gh. Let me get that in there. There we go. And then uh, after I, I express it as an order triple, um, then I just add it, then it's going to be whatever that x is, i, plus that y, j, plus that uh, z, k. Okay, so here we go. So um, there's the order triple of vector g, h right there. Okay, and then so now it's just going to be 3i plus 10j plus 2k. Okay, so there, there it is, is unit vectors. Unit vectors means uh, you're going to do um, the i, j, k with that. So, so there's your final answer right there. Okay, easy enough. All right, if you're my pre-calculus class, I would assign... That is your homework. Take care, you guys.